Hello again, it's Marxist, and I'm back again today with a medic demo review from the UGC, uh, close to my heart. I apologize in advance if I've got the demos in reverse order, uh, but I, you know, things happen, it'll be okay, we'll watch the demo, it'll be great. It's a POV demo of a medic, so... And while we're rolling out, we'll turn my audio down. Okay, you guys are going left. Not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I like that. That could have turned out really well. Now see, the problem here is you're isolated. You needed more people to favor the left side if you were going to do that. Uh, looking at the frags, it's still pretty even, but you're only healing this one scout. So one thing I'd encourage you on here is, uh, well, and your your team is overextending wildly. Your scout's job is to cap the point, not chase kills around. It, in that case, I, they may have been chasing the enemy team's medic. In that case, you just need one guy to do it. Say, I got, I'm got, i on the medic, and the other guy needs to come back and cap and stay with you. Uh, at mid, uh, also I'd encourage you, your life isn't that important. So, unless their med has died. So, play, you know, put out more heals uh, than you did in that last mid. The reason being is that you know, of all the factors that influence whether a mid is a success or not, uh one of the biggest ones is how many heals did the med put out and you were basically only ever able to heal one person and sometimes not even that you can't really be doing that now I don't know the status of their medic my assumption is that he died especially given the way that he's running so you guys attacked much too slowly there you also ought to have taken in multiple people with the uber and as a medic it's kind of your job uh, to keep track of ubers also, yeah, I, I like that you're, I mean, crossbow's crossbow, but healing those scouts would have been beneficial. You should know that you're winning this. You just got to turn around and cap. Alright, and you guys should already be in last, because they died late. So, unless you have people in there still... You shouldn't be up here anymore. Medic! Medic! So there, I'm, my presumption is that their med did not die, and so you're gonna want off classes for this. Don't be so afraid up here. I mean, there's only a few ways they can get in, and it's pretty easy to cover all of them. And pushing out of this point is silly, because it's such a hard last to take. Alright, you're gonna go in with a really... So, you shouldn't have popped there because A, you're really far behind, and B, there's there was nothing to pop about. So, yeah, and as a result, you don't get to pop out of them. This is over. Yeah. So, you didn't need to pop. Maybe they had a sniper and you got scared. But, uh, oh, and I, I have no idea what that soldier was trying to do. You were boned there. So, you didn't need to pop. If they have a sniper, you have to just make a conscientious decision of, of, you know, do I test the sniper or not? And then when you would come in view of the sniper, uh, go ahead and pop. But, in that case, you probably would want to bomb both your soldiers or something to make sure that they get their Uber out. So you know their medic survived, so they have Uber advantage. So standing close like this is pretty risky for you. Because you're, you may end up getting caught by an Uber. Also, I'd like to see somebody on your team devoted to building. Whenever you don't have 80%, you need to be building your Uber. 
Yeah, see, that's... That's just... That's a symptom of just being too close. You need to get into the idea, as a team, that when you don't have uber advantage, you need to be holding in one location, and when you do have uber advantage, you need to be holding really close. Because you're going to be ready to push soon. And despite killing you in the Uber, they failed to get mid, so that's all good. They even lose second. I'll try and learn the name of their med, because that'll make this easier. So, you... It's questionable as to whether or not you have uber advantage. I really don't know. And you lose a guy, so hopefully he'll come up as an off class. Oh, it was your demo, so he won't be. You should be pretty safe here. Most teams aren't going to push on you. That's, there are only a few last points where they can just, like, gather up and go. POV demos are finicky sometimes. Or maybe you have some kind of a bind that causes your volume to go up. In which case, that'd be kind of neat. So you guys need to be suiciding here and getting an off class. Heavy, sniper, spy, whatever. Because right now you're just not doing anything. And uh, this is still the first round. So Okay, you're going to chariot uber out of here. This is a really classic tactic. That Now... I should be careful to explain, the old-fashioned chariot uber, well, that was actually a pretty good surf out of there, and you've got a ton of picks so you're gonna win. The old-fashioned chariot uber really only was meant to work against teams that were running a heavy, which they were not, but uh, it's okay, you, that's, that's a fine tactic to use, it'd be better if your demo didn't jump so far away from you. So we've got a middle door this time. Now, okay, and you beeline it to the demo, so that's good. Now you should start healing scouts. See, the demo doesn't need healed. He's not doing a whole lot right now. You needed to heal your scout there. And you get their demo in mid, so this is good. Now that's that's a symptom of being of not being grouped up quite enough. You had a scout that was sort of overextended in a one v one around a health pack, and some he should have been calling for help or uh, or doing something differently. But so now your main thing is just don't get popped. Uh, and you should have this for last. You should be getting ready to go. Ideally, what would have happened there is you would have just had a scout sitting on the point as your demo and pocket pushed, like, into last. <laughs> you get lucky. There you go.
So you, you're tanking your demo and he doesn't need it. You should be looking around for other people to heal. Once your demo gets to 260, or, or I, my rule is like 120, as long as he's around 120, he's plenty good enough. And then you need to get around to scouts. I don't agree with stacking the point here either, because you had a scout on the point, that's all you need. You have uber advantage, most likely. I don't know the status of their medic. But you and you, that dem your demo and that one scout that was with you could have just continued going forward. You get a little bit sniped up. Now you know they have a sniper, so actually what I'd like to see is pretty much 10 out of 10 times if someone's a sniper they're someone who would normally be watching the flank which means their flank is much weaker than normal and so you should pretty much automatically push flank so another thing i didn't like there was you immediately turned around and flashed the demo which is something you didn't need to do um reason being is that the pocket should have known the status of that doorway, whether it was trapped or not. And if it's not trapped, then he doesn't need flashed. Especially since you guys ought to have known that it was Uber v Uber, you can't afford to flash in that Uber. It's Your Uber's objective is to pop them and make them flash. And then that way you get a equal or better Uber. Then you back up to your demo who's standing up on that platform and life is good. It also appears that you've bound Mouse 1 to, to an alias to spam voice commands. I would suggest that you tone that down because it's giving your position away. You do a good job of holding that. Now see, the other issue here is that they're... yeah... The health pack. The health pack is your friend right now. Alright, you get the point though. They have a very late spawn too. So yeah, the the thing about spamming voice binds is sometimes it's nice because it'll confuse your opponent, but it's it can also be a, a a hurt because you're telling them I'm on the left or right side. They can hear you. So they've tried to push out on you with Uber. Hopefully someone goes for a back cap. Actually, this push is going really badly for them. He gets... If you were gonna go for the... Yeah, there you go. It's just, it's really hard to push out on that. As it is on most maps. Romer goes a little too fast. He's gonna have pretty crappy health. Let's see, Demo Man is good. See, he's not even doing damage to anybody. And he's taking all the heals, so you need to... There you go, your scouts came back to you. What a good life this is. So as far as your play so far, this mid's been a lot stronger than the other ones. Your, your scouts should get better. Oh, you dropped. That's a bad drop because their med's still alive. Um, you probably ought to have popped as soon as you were down to 70. But your scouts need to get better about staying on the point. They, they should know that it is their job to cap the point. It's okay to be aggressive as a scout player, but they need to be aware of the situation. So if you're down a scout, uh, then obviously they can't chase as much. 
but someone should be sort of like the giggly guy scout. You know, it's his job to cap the point so that your soldiers and demo can be more aggressive. And in that case, you were like the one standing on the point, and that's, you know, Med's not very good at capping points, and it makes you very vulnerable. Yeah, you guys did. You guys don't do a particularly good job of building. I understand buffing your players, but you need to build, and you need to declare that it is time to build. So you're like, "Hey, I'm building." So that should tell everyone on the team not to do anything while you're building, so as not to take damage. And if they do take damage, unless it's an emergency, do not heal them. Because you're building, and building is important. Usually, as far as hold positions, most meds will stand directly behind the point, with, and you can jump up onto that glass and have your back to the glass. You should kite, so just get get to the other side. No. Yeah, your hold was really disorganized. So ideally, you'll have your people in the back, and whichever way they push in, you'll just go to the opposite side until you can get your Uber. This should turn out for your team. Yeah. Doctor! Oh, they've still got a scout alive. So, here's my other little rule of medic. When you're dead, your HUD should display the spawn timers. Either A, say, when you're down to about 3 or 4 seconds, if you know someone's already spawned, tell them to wait. If you know somebody else is going to spawn, just wait and spawn for them to come up. This, unlike Granary Yard, Yard on Warmfront is really hard to hold. And that's part of the reason why the map was voted out uh, of the ESEA rotation, is because it's, it's difficult to get a good aggressive hold where you can play up into mid. You pretty much have to move out of second. Now, you do have Uber, so that's, that's good. Yeah, so you were just like wildly out of position there. You shouldn't run to heals. The heals come to you. So you pick a spot that you like, which is usually the upper right on this map. You pick a spot that you like, and you stay there. And if anybody needs heals, they'll come to you. That way, you don't have to pop Uber on nobody. The other thing I'd encourage you to change as a team is you need to make your combo a little bit stronger in that you're you're going up a lot with just your pocket soldier and you really ought not to do that whenever you're pushing. Ideally for me, I'll have at least the demo with us or a scout. You need a scout to be close by. It's blob style play really. Yeah, you might get back capped doing that but 
it takes a little time for the points to go down and you can always send your scout back. So this is another situation where you either need to commit to getting picks or start building your uber. Now you're one down so you need to kind of scoot back because you're not going to be able to hold your flank as well. Yeah, you were much too close and you didn't have Uber. So we got a 2 to 3. Your demo got really aggressive and died immediately, so this mid's over for you, really. Yeah. Your team may still win, but pretty much whenever your demo dies first, you're gonna lose mid, and so you should leave. The reason that you leave is because it's highly unlikely that your team's gonna be able to kill their medic in that situation, and so it's gonna lose you the round if you die. So, if your demo man dies, you're done. No more mid for you. Medical's man is gone. All you do at that point is if your demo's the first person to die, you start screaming, suicide for their med, suicide for their med, and you run away. You get their pop out over second, so that's good unless all these people die. It looks like you're okay. It sounds like they've got a sniper, but you should be able to cap this. Alright, and you now you've got Uber, so you're set to push mid. You also know that you have premium Uber advantage, which means you can flash anybody you want. You've got like 40-50%. I'd like to see your team get on the point. You need people on the point, like right now. You're probably... nope. So they didn't orchestrate pop 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 yet. Don't worry about that scout. What you needed to do there was flash a soldier so that he could get into their combo very quickly. Because now they've got uber advantage, given there's some players down, so you can... If you do quickly, if you move quickly, you can get this still. Maybe you can't now. They, they either real or fake called. See, and you're by yourself now with just your demo, and this is a really bad position to be in, and you lose two people to a soldier, so you're done. The pushing time is over, and they've now most assuredly got an Uber. People have cratered from less. So they've let you get Uber and a numbers advantage with that bomb. And uh, you you should be able to push off of the numbers advantage that you've got right now, but you have to do it quickly. There you go. Just this one guy. Don't Uber no, you don't need to flash the demo. All you did there was make it such that your Uber couldn't go nearly as deep. And it also shortened it, because every time you flash, it shortens your uber. Now, that, that was another situation where you fell back to the point you didn't need to. You had a scout on the point you were going to cap. You needed to be in here with your combat classes. And that is the end of the first half, so I will rejoin with the next half. 
Alright, and we're back with another one. Your demo gets a little too far. So now your demo's fine. You need to start healing other people. Heal other people. Particularly a scout. They're not even really coming to mid. But you've managed to... You're two people down now. One person down. Two people down again. Your mid is over. So that's just failure to play in a group. You need to group up at mid. Yeah, you guys were too far forward. They had no reason not to kill you. You were done with mid once your third player died. So try and fix the way that your team is playing such that you have scout, a, a scout or both scouts to heal at mid. Ideally, your scouts should be coming back to you after that initial phase of mid. So your soldiers jump away, they go do their thing, and that's when your scouts come back, and you're much safer that way. You know there's an uber right in front of you, so that's not good. So that's a fight that you probably could have won if you'd had more people with you, but you are capping. You're very alone, not healing anyone. Must heal someone. Okay, so you're on your last. Worst things have happened. So this is a time where you still need to be building a little bit. You're running around. Okay, maybe you're trying to coax your team into forward holding. Forward holding is all well and good, but you can't forward hold with a heavy on the point. So you either need him to move up, or you need him to go back to whatever class he was. This is fine. Like, this holding forward on, on warm front is perfectly fine. But it's hard to do because you're not able to cover all three of the doors. You've essentially got one spam class on each of the doors. Given you've also got the sniper, which can work. But the heavy on the point isn't helping you as much as you could. So they pop in, you need to save your heavy, you need to save the heavy, yeah. So you've lost two people already, so this is really kind of boned. Given you have a later pop, so you may still be able to pull it out if your people click on other people really well. Your health is really bad, so you're probably not going to be able to get second. So your demo needs to put time on the point here, because that's going to be all the difference. You're winning this fight. That was a t an instance of where stacking wasn't so bad because you've denied some of them the ability to forward spawn because they've still got spawn advantage as far as the timer goes bec due to their having mid. I'm also unsure of the status of their uber, but you're one down, so you've got to go back to second. Oh, their whole combo and crap is back here. Your uber is way better. Now it's not so much. That was a case where you didn't need to flash. You should have just stuck with your pocket, because you had the way better Uber. They were forced to flash, you weren't. And that Roamer could have gotten out of there. And your demo clutches it.
with the help of a fat man and you're holding last they are three down so and also no demo man but you need to get time on the point yeah your soldier shouldn't play so afraid there you've got to get on the point if you're gonna do this you gotta do it Again, you're not building when you should have been. There you go. You're done with the building. You should be good. They're approaching you. I would stand flush to the left wall over here. Kind of like, yeah, this this is much better than what you were doing. Walking into a rocket is bad. Again, you're just you're moving around simply for the sake of moving around. It seems and standing against that wall is perfectly fine. You would. It's better for their. Okay, you've popped their Uber need to pop you need to get to the health pack the health pack is what you need right now See, and that, that whole situation came about because your team isn't sticking together very well. Everybody's just kind of off doing their own thing, and so you, you end up with people getting isolated. And you don't want to do that. That's bad. It's not very fun. So, they're one down. You guys should be gearing up to push. Especially because you've got Uber. Now they're even more down. You gotta be careful. No, just go ahead. You've got Uber. Life is good. There are many down. Tragic things happen, but you're getting the better, the better end of the kills. And we gotta pause. So after the pause, we're back now. So you're actually sort of safe now because your team's together and you run away from the Uber. So that's good. Running to health pack, good decision. Their soldier just forsakes the health pack. So this is, where's your team right now? What are they doing? Why aren't they, why isn't there a scout with your demo man? So you got some of your team is in the back, some of your team is up, you're you're all gonna die here, unless your demo just has otherworldly DM. Yeah. Your team was really spread out and isolated, and there was no reason for it whatsoever. So you need to you need to place a higher premium on staying together. So this is, you're bringing your demo into fights that he doesn't belong in. 
And it's causing your Uber to be too short. But you're still going to win this because they cocked it up pretty bad. So that's, your scout needs to cap, everybody else should go. Time has been added. And that's oh. GG. So we'll pull out some classic Harb while we, uh, while I talk about some stuff. One, don't overheal your demo at mid, especially when he isn't doing anything. You should have scouts coming back to you to get healed that need it more than he does. Or maybe your pocket, but really more time often than not, it's going to be your scout. And hopefully we'll see that from uh, Harb and the gang. But, uh... Yeah, so stick together, heal scouts more on mid, and that, I mean, that would fix the majority of your problems. S don't stand so close to doorways when you know they have Uber. If you don't know that they have Uber, then you need to get better about doing that. And that's that's just so simple as looking at the scoreboard and knowing the name of their medic and knowing whether he's died and or, and you haven't. So... I mean, that's the easiest way to tell. So, don't stand so close to doors when you got Uber. Stick together. Uh, scouts cap points more than chasing around frags. And uh, some of your Uber pops I criticized. Uh, don't flash your demo if he doesn't need it. Uh, don't Really, don't flash anybody if they don't need it. And... Uh, Try and watch your pops a little bit, because you pop really early some of the time for no reason. But yeah, other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, feel free to submit more demos in the future.